Hi, I'm Tommy Lube. I'm going to talk about the semantic web. There's a quiet revolution happening in the structure of the web itself. It's gentle and it's powerful. It's like Tai Chi. You hardly know that it's happening, but when it happens and when it hits, it has a massive impact. And that's what the semantic web is about. Tim Berners-Lee invented the web about 20 years ago, and about five years later, he started work on what the next generation of the web was going to be. He envisaged a web that was more powerful than the web that we have today, and that's now coming to fruition, and he called it the semantic web, a web of meaning and understanding, and it's coming to the world now. Semantics is about meaning. It's about understanding. This is a mural by Robert Reed. University of Congress, uh, there's a sign near it that says, wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Until the web becomes a web of understanding, we won't really realize its potential, and that's what the semantic web is about. It's about moving from a web of documents to a web of data, where the data carries with it the meaning of each item of data. It doesn't rely on an understanding of the documents. The data carries its own meaning and expresses that meaning. That's what happens when you get a web of linked data. The web as we know it today, the web of documents, is about linking one document to another. The language is HTML. It's created for people to browse. People have an understanding of the context. They don't need to be told what the context is. You look at a page, you know that it's Apple, not Apple. You know that it's glasses, not glasses. So the web is designed for people. The semantic web is designed for programs. It's designed for applications to be able to access the web. Applications need to be told what the context is. The language is RDF. We move away from HTML, we move to RDF. And we end up with a, with a network at the data level instead of at the document level. Items of data linked together. And the, the meaning is, is expressed through relationships. Um, Joe is the parent of Amy. That's a relationship, and just that relationship carries a lot of data with it. That's also a triple. Everything in the semantic web is described as triples. Subject, predicate, object. The whole semantic web is a network of triples. Joe loves football. That's another triple. Everything is described as triples. So what you end up with is a web of data where every single data item is linked to every other single data item as a triple. And in those triples is the meaning and understanding. How many of these things exist today? As far as we can tell, there are something like 23 billion triples of information scattered around the web written in RDF. It's happening and you don't even know about it. You can't see it, you can't browse it, but there are 23 billion. It grew by a factor of 50 in the last year. If it grows by a factor of 50 again in the next year or two, there'll be a trillion triples out there. It will cover people, it does today, cover people, music, sports, photos, facts, census data, location data. This entire thing is growing out there on the internet, underneath the web, just bubbling up through the web. Billions and billions of triples of information and you don't even know that it exists. What are the implications? What does search look like in a semantic web world, in a web of linked data world? It doesn't look like Google. It doesn't look like keyword search driven by advertising. That's, that has no relevance in the semantic web world. The uh, Google algorithm, the back rub algorithm, makes no sense in a world of data. It's just it needs to change. What does it look like for shopping? It won't look like Amazon. You won't see these single destination sites that you go and visit when the entire semantic web is like one huge destination site with the data, with all the products made explicit that programs uh, can access. What does social networking look like in the semantic web world? I'm slightly ahead of my slides there. It doesn't look like Facebook. It doesn't look like huge walled gardens. That's not what we have in the semantic web world. When the entire semantic web, the entire web of linked data is effectively one huge open social network with users in control. What do the social networks do then? They have to change. So we're moving. It's a quiet revolution. You may not realize that it's happening until it just hits your business in the face. We're moving from documents to data. We're moving from pages to triples. We're moving from HTML to RDF. We're moving from keywords to context. It will all move. It will all change in a soft, forceful way. We leave the last word to Sir Tim Berners-Lee in an interview with the BBC middle of last year. He said, when we look back, we'll say, oh my goodness, the original web of documents was just the tip of the iceberg. 
Welcome to the Semantic Web. Thank <laughs> you.